see, please do not understand karma as some kind of punishment and reward. Let's say you sat here and thought that somebody that you don't like must die, or you even thought how to kill them. It has a certain level of impact on you. On another level, you had a thought, but not just a thought, the strong emotion. Now it has a much deeper impact upon you. Once you energetically try to influence somebody, now this will be the worst karma because the impact of this goes very deep into you because you're employing your energies to do this. You look at yourself, if you don't like the way you are, do the right karma. It is by your thought, by your emotion and your action, this is how you perform your action, isn't it? So, karma means till now whatever you did, the residual impact of that is definitely there upon your life. But this moment's karma is in your hands. Yesterday's karma you cannot change, but this moment's karma is in your hands. This moment's karma should… could be a karma of freedom or of bondage. If you do… if you handle this moment in a certain way, you will be from everything that was yesterday. If you do not handle it that way, yesterday will rule you today. This is also your karma. See, please do not understand karma as some kind of punishment and reward. It's not like that. It is just that everything that you touch with your mind, with your emotion, with your body, a bit of it sticks to you. The residual action is remaining with you. Yesterday, whatever you did, is it not there in your memory? Is it not there in your memory? Is it not influencing what you do today? Yesterday what you thought, is it there in your memory? Is it not influencing your thought and action today? Yesterday what you felt in your emotions, is it not there in your memory? Memory is not just mental memory, memory is on many different levels. It is in your body, it's in your chemistry, it's in your energy, in many different backup systems are there for your energy, for your memory. So this memory is acting itself out, but this moment, if you wish to be conscious, this memory, you can use it whichever way you want. You can look back on your life and laugh at all the stupid things that you did. You can look back on your life and cry, why did I do all these stupid things? Or you can look back on your life and learn that, okay, I did all these stupid things yesterday, what is the smart thing that I can do today? Same karma, yesterday's karma is same karma, but this moment's karma can be different depending upon how consciously you act this moment, isn't it? This moment's karma can be either karma of sweetness or bitterness. Yesterday might have been sweetness or bitterness, you cannot change that. Can you change what you did yesterday? You cannot change that. But what you make out of it today, that you can change, that is always in your hands, always and always, it's in your hands. Karma means action. There are four types of action – physical, mental, emotional and energy. Of all these things, the energy action is the most important one and the most enduring one and the most liberating one if you do it the right way. If you do it the wrong way, the energy action, which is improper, can have far more impact upon one's life than the improper physical actions, improper mental actions, improper emotional actions. So what do I mean by improper energy actions? One thing is, unfortunately, I had to witness a few things which I did not wish to witness. Certain people trying to misuse a little flexibility in energy that came with certain practice of yoga or a certain initiation especially. There are some over smart people that when you initiate them, when it's fresh, when they're bursting with energy, they want to use it for something else. 
they want to <laughs> channelize it to impress their neighbors or to make some money out of it or in some way use it. What was offered to them for their well-being, they try to do something else that can happen. Or a better example would be, there are many ways you can perform negative action. One thing is, let's say you sat here and thought that somebody that you don't like must die. Or you even thought how to kill them. It has a certain level of impact on you. On another level, you had a thought, but not just a thought, the strong emotion. Now it has a much deeper impact upon you. You acted upon this thought and emotion and you actually performed the action, then it has a much deeper impact on you. Now, you understand that if you perform these actions, there may be consequences, so you found another way. You found somebody who will do certain type of energy action through which the person that you don't like will die. There is an entire science like this. One Veda among the four Vedas is dedicated to this, this is called the Atharvana Veda, where it's about learning to use energies towards your benefit and other people's detriment. You have heard of words like black magic, voodoo and bilishunyam and whatever else you call it, where people have learned to use energies to cause harm to someone else. Once you energetically try to influence somebody for some benefit of your own, now this will be the worst karma because the impact of this goes very deep into you because you're employing your energies to do this. This is the reason why even to initiate you into a simple process like Sambhavi, I am asking you, to take the step of being a mother to the world so that you never misuse this, you see everybody as yours. So, those of you who find some dramatic changes happening in your life because of initiations, you must take care, you must take utmost care that you never try to use this ability to transform to do something else. Of course, uh, some of you think you will do a great thing by healing somebody, by intervening in somebody's life in some other way. No, you, this will be the worst type of karma you perform because once you try to use your energies and still you are capable of anger, you are capable of drawing boundaries of what is you and what is not you, what is yours and what is not yours, when these things are still there, you should never ever try to do anything energetically because this will be the most impactful karma that you will do. This is the reason why even the basic practice of Shambhavi to initiate you, you must become a mother to the world. And this is also a fantastic way to beat your karma if every moment of your life if you live with an inclusive emotion of being a mother to the world, not discriminating between what… what is yours and what is not yours. Right now you cannot help discriminating what is you and what is not you, but at least what is yours and what is not yours, if you take it away, you have solved the karmic puzzle ninety percent, believe me, ninety percent. Of all dimensions of karma, you have solved that puzzle. Remaining ten percent, I am there. So when ninety-nine percent of your actions are accidental or unconscious, you do one thing, you just drive here. Ninety-nine percent of the time, just close your eyes and simply sit like this. Once in a way, handle the steering. Let's see where you will be in five minutes. <laughs> this is a disaster of human life. So you must understand this, this is the most profound dimension of Eastern cultures that we told you, your life is your karma. This means your life is your making. There is no manager sitting up there and managing you. Your life is your karma. The way you make… do it is the way it happens. There is no… S no other way. 
Only because over ninety-nine percent is happening unconsciously, it looks like some other force is manipulating you. All bad drivers are like this, when they get into some kind of a crash, I was driving properly only, something happened <laughs> Have you heard this? <laughs> something happened, something supernatural <laughs> happened and I crashed my car. No, you're just a dumb driver <laughs> So the same thing goes for life. The same thing goes for life that we constantly reminded you. Now in this generation it's lost in probably Maybe your mother or let's say your grandmother's generation, if they sit down, stood up, they said a karma, prarabdha, mukti, moksha. This is a proper day-to-day -day conversation, not spiritual conversation. Yes or no? Every day, it's time you bring it back. Because karma means you're reminding yourself, everything that I'm doing and not doing is my fundamental responsibility. You look at yourself, if you don't like the way you are, do the right karma.